In this video, I want to compare some of the newest models from OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google for data analysis specifically. There's been a lot of great models coming out, and I just want to see how they performed and which one I like best. So in this video, I'm going to be comparing a few different models. First of all, we're going to be looking at Claude 3.7 Sonnet from Anthropic. Uh, then we're going to take a look at O4 Mini, the medium one from OpenAI that was just recently uh, released. And then I'm going to look at Gemini 2.5 Pro and Flash from Google uh, that were released uh, just a handful of weeks ago. So keep in mind that what I'm doing here is really just focusing on data analysis and I'm not doing like hardcore coding across the entire code base. So uh, for example, I know that Claude 3.7 um, is getting a little bit of flack uh, for, uh, for you know, hardcore developers that are working out of IDEs. That's not what I'm doing here. What I'm doing is really uh, just uh, data analysis uh, using SQL and Python on effectively um, a, single, uh, a single script or a single smart book. Uh, so with that, let's, let's dive in here. So starting off with 3.7 Sonnet, this has been sort of our default for the last few months uh, since it came out. I think that was Know, four months ago, maybe now, or a little bit more. Um, and it, uh, so there's a few things here. So the first thing is that it does really understand the intent of what I'm, I'm going for. So uh, I asked it, for example, a question like, you know, which customers have made multiple purchases and what did they buy in their second order? And it, you know, kind of like worked through the problem here. And then it came up with a SQL query that was accurate, but it also was giving me all the necessary information that I needed as, say, uh, an analyst to be able to actually interpret the answer. So it gave me things like the name of the customer and the product name, uh, really kind of like, I'd say, like understanding the intent of like what I was going for here. So uh, really, really liked that and still think that like 3.7 actually sort of stands out on that front. Um, it also just generally generates accurate code. So uh, even when it comes to more complex tasks here, uh, like you know writing a scoring model, for example, or sorry, generating a scoring uh, model for you know uh, likelihood of purchasing a product, uh, I f I found that it did a very good job. Um, as a matter of fact, throughout these different tests, um, I did test with um, I tried having the AI generate pullers as well, which historically all these models have kind of struggled with because uh, that's sort of like a, a newer framework and uh, documentation isn't all there, but I found that all these models actually perform very well on that, uh, on that front as well, which to me means they're all kind of like catching up with uh, sort of the latest uh, development as well, which is good. So Gemini, uh, sorry, Claude 3.7, I would say uh, did very well on, again, the code generation and understanding the intent of what I was asking. Uh, I will say that like, it did talk a lot and it does overdo things a little bit. And I, I think this is one of the biggest complaints for uh, Claude 3.7 or, or maybe even just Anthropic's models in general. So uh, I have an example down here where it just did just a little bit more. So it just like, first of all, talks a lot, which personally I actually like. So I like, uh, I might be what you call more of a vibe coder. And so I like, more of this explaining of what's going on and what it's doing rather than just like kind of giving me the code, which we'll, we'll look at some other models that do just that. Um, but it, uh, beyond sort of explaining, it also in the output here just gave me more than I really needed with, you know, like it printed out extra text and it gave me this extra chart when in reality, I just asked it for a score. So that can be a good or a bad thing. Like it's a um, it's a good thing if you like sort of what over ex over ex explanations from the AI and if you like it to kind of like take its own initiatives. Uh, but if you tend to be a little bit more specific in your ask the AI, then this might sort of come off as annoying. Let's take a look now at O4 Mini, the medium one. Uh, I have it. Okay, I have it here. So. This one uh, really sort of, to me, stands in stark contrast to 3.7 that we were just looking at. Um, this model, to me, like literally just gave me the, the code and pretty much no more. So here, for example, you can see I asked the very first, uh, same first question. I asked it to show me the customers that made multiple purchases, and it has zero explanation, just kind of like goes through the tool calling, generating some code, it had an error, it iterated. 
and then it gave me the, the response here, uh, iterated a few more times, and then just said, okay, I've added this code. That was it. So if you don't like all sort of like the fluff around the, the explanation, uh, and and the, and the prompt, and you like literally just want the code, then this may be a, a great model for you. Uh, but again, personally, like I'm uh, not an expert coder, and so like I like a little bit more explaining rather than than less. Uh, the other thing, uh, so so now so that was that's kind of like for maybe the good part of the O4 Mini. Uh, and keep in mind, it's not the high the high reasoning model, uh, which I've heard very good things about that I'll maybe have to do another video of once we have that integrated. But um, now we kind of get into the rest. So I found that it just like wrote a lot of intermediate code with, with errors. Like here's a lot of this stuff where it generates the code and then there'll be an error and it kind of has to like keep working through the problem. It sort of eventually gets to the right answer in, in my experience with this. But compare that to say, you know, 3.7 Sonnet here very few errors. As a matter of fact, I don't think there are any whatsoever. Like it kind of got the code working on the first try. Um, and so it's actually, I think, faster than 3.7, but it takes more time to get to the final correct answer. Um, the other thing, um, well, I already talked about these, so it really doesn't provide any context and kind of provides a bare minimum. Um, maybe also kind of partially due to the prompt that we have behind the scenes as well, because um, we're giving it more than just like the prompt it's here to the user interface prompt. So maybe partially due to that, but I, I just didn't really like that. I liked more explaining, sorry, I'm gonna go back here. I liked more explaining around what's going on. Uh, and to me, like 04 just doesn't provide that. And then finally, uh, it, it just really struggled on like more advanced coding tasks. And again, I'm not doing like anything crazy here. I'm just doing like, I asked it to go and create a score for um, uh, a propensity to buy for my customer. And I just felt that it kind of struggled, did kind of like some funky things here where it's like importing polars kind of randomly in the middle of the script as opposed to the top and so on and so forth. So it just didn't do, in my opinion, as, as well. Um, and I think this is maybe fine for uh, someone who's like very, a very experienced coder who can like supervise the AI. Uh, but if you're kind of just like going with the flow and again, vibe coding a little bit more, this may be a little bit riskier. Now let's uh, finish off with the Gemini models. Um, and I'm actually going to maybe start off with a 2.5 flash here. So I think this is my 2.5 flash. Okay, so this is my 2.5 flash here. Uh, I would say, um, so first of all, it's, uh, we, we've historically sort of optimized our um, the product and the platform here in Fabi for, for Claude, um, but it's clearly not following like the formatting instructions as clearly behind the scenes. And I think that has to do with maybe the context window that it can take because we have a fairly big prompt behind the scenes. Um, and so it kind of struggled with that. So if we kind of look past that though, um, it was very, very fast. So it, it did provide answers very quickly um, as maybe the name suggests. Um, but it did, again, sort of like maybe the O4 minis have to iterate through some errors and, and I kind of had to nudge it as well. And you can see here's like a bunch of just formatting issues where it wasn't returning the code in the proper format. Uh, and I kind of had to um, uh, ask it for, hey, can you actually show me the code here? And the other thing too is that, it, again, like O4 mini, I would say provided like the absolute bare minimum. So like when I asked it a question to show me the number of the purchases by customer, it gives me no customer name, no product name. So I had to go and ask it to go and add that stuff. It's not the end of the world by any means. I can I could probably even just go in there and like code it myself and, and add those fields. Um, but again, to me, that kind of stands in contrast to say uh, Claude 3.7 Sonnet where it seems to like better understand like I'm a human, and like I need that information to actually be able to interpret the data. Um, and so uh, that made a, a big difference for me because even though it kind of like got to the final answer faster, it did feel like I was maybe messing around with the code and the prompts a little bit more. Uh, let's see, what else can I say about uh, 2.5 flash? Um, oh yeah, so one more thing too is it felt very stubborn. Um, so at one point I asked it to not effectively write a new SQL query because I had all the data already in my smart book and in my analysis. And I asked it to just like already use those preloaded data frames and just write everything in Python. And I had to like nudge it a few times until I got it doing what I wanted. 
Um, but it felt very, very stubborn, um, which was actually a little bit, a little bit frustrating. Now let's move on to the last one here for this video. So Gemini 2.5 Pro. Um, overall, I was actually very impressed. Um, it, to me, provides like a really good balance of explanation and context. So um, again, for me, like someone who likes a little bit of explaining around what's going on with the code, I felt like it provided just the right level. So if you go here, for example, it tells me clearly what it's gonna go and do. And then it also tells me um, what it what it did in the code. And I, I really like that. And I felt like it wasn't overdoing it. It just gave me kind of like the right level. Um, and uh, it did uh, handle complex coding tasks very well, I would say. So it came up when I asked it to do, uh, to generate a model here to score customers according to their propensity to buy a certain category of products. Um, it came up with a much more, I would say like robust scoring model than 3.7. Um, now, again, this isn't any sort of like crazy coding task I'm having it do here, um, but I did find that like it thought through the problem much more and came up with probably what is going to end up being a, just a better answer. Um, the only sort of downside is it didn't necessarily follow prompt instructions as closely as I would have liked, um, but I'm not going to take too many points off 2.5 Pro for this one because, again, 3.7 Sonnet has just, in my opinion, sort of dominated the coding space so much for the past few months that we've sort of like maybe at Fabi um, focused a lot on the prompt and optimization around 3.7 Sonnet. Um, but I think that with like just a little bit of tuning, 2.5 Pro will easily exceed 3.7 Sonnet. So um, all this to say, I still think 3.7 Sonnet, sort of like despite some of the complaints out there from, I would say, experienced developers, I think it does an extremely good job for what I need to do in Fabi. Um, but I do really like what 2.5 Pro is doing. As a matter of fact, I might start defaulting and switching over to 2.5 Pro, especially as our prompt and our instructions start to catch up a little bit. Um, 2.5 Flash, interesting model, like just doesn't do it for me compared to the 2.5 Pro. And unfortunately, like OpenAI just isn't up to par with the others. Um, I know that according to like benchmarks, um, O4 Mini and uh, at least a high um, performs better than say maybe Sonnet, I think on paper with some of the evals, but I just personally don't see it. I don't know, maybe we're doing something wrong and we should uh, we should revisit how we, how we leverage OpenAI. Um, but uh, we also haven't uh, experimented with, I think, their best models today. So O4 Mini High and O3. Um, O3 is just like kind of like prohibitively expensive right now. So that one's off the table for the time being. Um, but so I think OpenAI, all that to say, is, is catching up. Um, despite having been in a lead maybe a year ago. Uh, but I, again, I think right now I'm going to be defaulting to 2.5 Pro or, or Sonnet in the future. And uh, if you like this video, please definitely follow us and like. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, uh, we would love to hear from you. Please just drop them down below.